Imagine the device that brings with it the power of traveling through time, sending you back to the Cretaceous era where you could tame and interact with dinosaurs before the push of a button leaping you forward in time. After making tours and fighting cavemen, you head off to ancient Egypt. And if these extreme adversaries weren't enough, go fight a samurai to prove you're the ultimate time traveling warrior. Maybe visit the colonial times to see some technologies before heading off to the Middle Ages to face some kingdoms, visit some museums along your way, or even stop by the present day to learn the skill of flying. Or head off to a nearby future where you can learn and practice the skill of mining that might become handy when you have to build a rocket to go see what the future will look like. Well, imagine no more. This is Grand Empress Time Travel Survival. As I found myself waking up on a mysterious beach, suffering from a severe headache from the time travel and then finding my small handout device lying on the ground and then seeing that I just needed a few rocks to get it repaired. Luckily, there were plenty of those lying around on the beach. How will only rocks fix this thing? Ah, uh, yes, but sometimes you just have to trust the user manual. After collecting all the rocks that I needed, I was ready to say goodbye. Makes no sense. Right, before we go, I just want to take in the scenery because this place is beautiful. And then with the push of a button, leaping myself forward to a mysterious new era. Okay, I was wrong. This is a lot prettier. As I enjoyed the scenery to get a look at the lay of the land, I spotted something strange. Big Moses, is that a dinosaur? Wait, I need a closer look. Oh, there's another one. I mean the dinosaur era, this is amazing! Little did I know the dangers this amazing place would bring. Yep, that's a T-Rex. Hold back, sir. Or are you friendly? As I grabbed some rocks on the beach, as this was the only weapon I could find, and then slowly backed off. Can you move, please, sir? I want to come visit the beach. Okay, fine. Have it your way. Oh, that was not smart. Okay, you're scared of water. This is good. This is very good. Want another one? Feeling brave and finally accessing the land, I pelted him with some more stones before retreating back into the safe waters. Were well, you running? Come back here. Who can you chase me? This is so much fun. Trying to assert my dominance by killing the T-Rex, I unfortunately ran out of stone. Oh, sir, you're lucky. You hold on. I'll be back. I just gotta get some more stones. Stay here, okay? I also decided to grab some berries as I wanted to get myself fed and then spotted another dinosaur. Stay back. I'm warning you. I just fought a T-Rex, you think I'm scared of you? As I finally tracked down some more stones and after grabbing what I could, I noticed I was being chased down by another T-Rex. So I quickly leaped across the water to get away. Oh, Mr. Tough Guy, huh? And decided it was probably smarter to pick on one of the little guys first. Even though I got bits and once, his razor-sharp teeth were no match for my rock-throwing skills. After sending him running, I was finally able to land the final shot and take him Did down. Did you guys see that? And then harvested up the body to collect some meat and then tried to tame up one of the corners. <laughs> Remind me what the hell's the problem? Do you not like my meat? I just want to be your friend. But he must have been a vegetarian as he wasn't interested in the dino meat. Seriously, you didn't eat one piece? Fine, I don't want to be friends with you anyway. But the Kano didn't like hearing that as he was chasing me down, I luckily got away and then went back to the T-Rex to finish up the job that I couldn't do before. Retreating back to the safe shallows whenever he was chasing after and then returning back to pelt some more stones. Landing the final one needed to take him down. <laughs> I'm gonna tell all your friends. There was a new Apex Predator in town and I was adamant to prove it. Even taking on a T-Rex stranded on a small island stuck between some trees, I showed no mercy. Ooh, <laughs> number two. Bye. After grabbing all the meat from the T-Rex carcass, I went to try and tame one of the little ones, and it was actually working. He got in a few bites, but in no time the taming bar was filled up. Oh my gosh, I got a new friend! I decided to name him Marvin, and once we were acquainted, we went on a little adventure, where we faced many obstacles in our way. Marvin, I hope you can outrun- Oh, excuse me, sir! Excuse- Run, Marvin! Red like the wind! But luckily Marvin and I got away. You stupid! Not long after I found another lonely rat and decided this was a great opportunity to collect some more meat. But this little guy sure put on one hell of a fight. But finally after some perseverance he was sent running. Where do you think you're going? So I collected some more meat and then went to search for a friend for Marvin. I also learned that you were actually able just to spam meat and didn't have to wait for him to finish a bite. So he was tamed in no time. Marvin this is Freddy, he's your friend okay? He's not food so I want you to treat him like a brother okay? Okay, let's go. So myself and my two children wanted to head towards the yellow pen, but with a T-Rex in our way, we were forced to take a diversion. Oh wait, this isn't good, this isn't good, this isn't... Marvin, Marvin, let's go back, let's go back, Marvin, Freddy, come on, let's... Okay, okay, we're in this now. Oh no, <laughs> the T-Rex is coming! With the T-Rex onto our pen, we were forced to fight for our lives. No, Freddy! Marvin, Marvin, get out of the water! Marvin, you can't win this one. No! With both their lives lost, I was now forced to take on the T-Rex. <laughs> That's so funny! Okay, okay, you're still One angry. One of his bites sent me leaping across the water, and then I saw that this one wasn't afraid to get his feet wet. <laughs> the water! Okay, safe landing. 
All right, come here, you big stupid. We're gonna end this. Fueled with rage, I was adamant to get revenge for my lost children's lives and managed to slay my third T-Rex. As I went to harvest the body of the Rex and the two fallen raptors, I got ready to say goodbye. No, oh, man, Marvin, I'm sorry. Pretty, don't tell your brother, but you were actually my favorite. Okay, bye. So to cheer myself up, I went to tame some more children. I found the first one, and in a matter of no time, he was mine as I had my eyes on a second one, and just like that, Freddy and Marvin were replaced. But unfortunately, they couldn't go with to the yellow pin. So I fed them all my remaining meat and then set them both on wondering as I said goodbye as I went to venture to the next era. Not knowing if I would ever come back, I was clearly not suited to be a father. And then arrived at some strange ancient land. Oh, this place is cool. Um, hello? After spotting the strange glowing object, I started following it as it led me into a temple. What is this place? Oh, elephants. I'm either in India, Africa, or Asia. Not sure where or when I was, I followed the glowing object through the treacherous terrain. It's a long way down, man. As we ventured deeper and deeper into the mysterious temple. It's where if you're taking me... Oh, I bats! Better than mummies, I guess. It seemed like the path was never-ending. Finding all sorts of ancient ruins, following closely behind, it seemed like we were heading towards the backside of the temple and then finding... Finally I spotted some daylight. Not just that, but there was a mysterious glowing crystal and it ended up being able to recharge my teleporting device. And with a push of a button I was off to the primitive era. But with no sign of any dinosaurs I was feeling homesick. So I wanted to test out for science the fully recharged device would actually allow me to travel back and forth and it did. Kevin Brutus, Kevin I'm here I'm back. Oh, you guys are still here. Hey, buddy. So I disabled Wandering and I wanted to find them a new home so I could come and visit. But first I had to take care of all the local inhabitants. Luckily, this island only had one herbivore, a triceratops, so it should have been an easy fight. Yeah, but we bit off more than we could chew. Oh, wait. No, he's running! Down to a slither of health, the Triceratops was finally on the retreat and I was able to land the final bite. <laughs> Good boy. You did good, Kevin. Here, have a treat. And after harvesting up some more meat, I went to tame myself a third child. Flung some meat at her and finally Rebecca was fully tamed. And after getting all three of the children safety on the island, I went back to the primitive era. With this, I also unlocked some new technology. So first, I crafted myself a stone workbench. Once done, I went out to punch some trees so I could harvest up some wood. Timber! Unable to harvest stone without a pickaxe, I did a quick travel back. Arrived and made sure all three kids were still okay and then went to harvest up some stone when I spotted them slaying a T-Rex off in the distance. Oh my gosh, you guys are okay. Ooh, what's that? Turns out it was another lost saw eager to become a member of the family. So after taming up Felicia, I went to grab all the rocks that I needed and then said goodbye. Kids, be good. I'll be back, okay? After arriving, I went to locate my stone crafting table and after completing the pickaxe, I was finally able to harvest some stone. After grabbing Having what I could, I also went to punch some more trees so I could grab the final pieces of wood needed to craft myself a mighty axe. But forgot it and went to punch some more trees, revealing some of the local wildlife. Oh my gosh, it's an elephant and a crocodile! I then crafted myself a torch and it was like a light went on. As I now remembered I had the axe, so I was able to chop down some trees. After grabbing all the wood that I would need, it was now time to go and search for a base location. And then finding a nice flat leveled area next to the water, I constructed my first wood workbench that then allowed me to chop my wooden logs down to planks that I could use to craft more material. But I also wanted to start looking after my hunger, so I decided to construct myself a nice campfire in the perfect area, and after finishing it up, I got to work on placing down my very first structure, finishing it up and then dropping down a bin for storage. With my home set up, I went out hunting, and after finding a small innocent fox, I felt like he would make the ideal lunch. Harvesting the corpse that landed in the river, and then went to toss my juicy steaks on the fire. And the fire was great, it allowed me to put a total of six pieces of steak on top of it. I was just hoping it wouldn't attract wildlife, but it ended up attracting something totally different. As I spotted off in the distance some cavemen. Howdy ma'am, is something bothering you? Those guys? Don't worry, I'll go take care of them. You just stay here. Traversing across the river and then quickly finding out that these guys weren't friendly. I was forced to engage, but luckily I had my spear handy. Two against one, hey? You guys think this is fair? Well, I can fix it. Where are you going, Sarah? You forgot about your dead friend here. He just left you. Don't worry, ma'am. You're safe now. I took care of them, okay? Oh, well, you're welcome. It was becoming important for me to assert my dominance in every era, so after finding another predator, I quickly had to show him that there was a new sheriff in town. He was definitely putting up a fight, and even though he had the advantage of being in the water, I was victorious yet again. So I collected some crocodile meat as a reward, and after grabbing all my fox steaks, I swapped them out for some croc ones, and with a full tummy, I went to harvest up some more trees to collect a whole bunch of logs, and then turn them into planks as it was now high time for me to get a proper shelter going. I had a quick 
look at all the options available, and of course I had to go for the biggest one. Right, let's see. Oh, this thing is massive. <laughs> so I placed it down and finished constructing it, and noticed it was a little bit too close to my campfire. Even though it was convenient to grab meat off my porch, this was definitely a fire hazard. Next up, I made the skin drying rack, and once it was done, I noticed that I needed some dinosaur hide to be able to construct leather. This was also the same time I remembered I still had children, so after seeing that they were okay, I hopped on the back of Kevin and I decided to go out hunting so I could slay some nearby tiny dinosaurs in an attempt to collect as much hide as I could. Kevin was a lot stronger than I thought than the first one was sent running, but with a friend nearby, I first had to take him out before I could go after the other one. But even both these dinosaurs were no match for the power of Kevin, and after slaying both of them, I collected the hide as my reward. And since I had now learned how to use tools, I decided to go out to harvest up a bunch of wood, as I could construct another wooden workbench in this era. That would then allow me to make some more wooden planks needed to construct another shelter so my dino children wouldn't be left out in the burning sun. Okay guys, you got your very own home. Let me show you how this works. So you go inside, okay, like this. And then, look, there's no more sun. It's called a shelter. As the concerned father that I am left them behind, hoping they wouldn't throw parties without me, I went back to now start working on my dinosaur leather. But I noticed I needed salted hide, so I made a canoe, made some water skins. After filling them up, I only now required some salt, so I hopped aboard my canoe and started navigating through the river. And started paddling away, hoping that the river would lead to the ocean. I'm telling you, man, I should be in the Olympics. And after paddling for what seemed to be like ages, I finally found the riverbed leading to the ocean, and there was all the salt rocks. So I whipped out my pick and started slaving away, collecting all the salt that I could possibly find, and once my pockets were filled, I started making my way back home. Hopping aboard my canoe and paddling away, my fitness was truly at an all-time high. I wasn't even tired from this entire adventure. As I took in the amazing scenery, breathtaking views, and crystal clear water, it took me no time to reach my home. After safely docking my canoe and hopping out, I decided also to move my fireplace. I really didn't want this place to burn down. And once constructed and realized I needed some more hide, I made another quick travel back to the children. That is home. Have you guys been good? Oh, no parties, no parties. Good, good, good. Right now, some of you may die, but we need to go kill something. And this time, I was definitely feeling more brave as we decided to take on a T-Rex. Come on, children, get over here. There we go. This is oh, I'm already bloody. Oh, he's running, he's running. Excuse me, Carter, we're in the middle of something. You're dead. My army is unstoppable. Oh, come here. Come here, you stupid. Ooh. No! No! I can't dismount! No! <laughs> This is hilarious! Luckily a quick relock and the crisis was averted and after seeing I still had some left, we decided to get back into the fight. Charge! Come on! It's, oh, he's full! Okay, 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 we got this, we got this in the bag. Come on, children! <laughs> oh, oh, oh now, oh now, let me get down! <laughs> Excuse me! I need a land thing. After you. collecting all the hide, I was quite happy with only one sacrifice. We decided also to take down another small raptor to grab some more meat to replace the loss of Kevin's life. And after taming up another raptor, we went out to take on another T-Rex. And this time things went a lot more smooth. Well, aside from what would happen next. Okay, awesome. Nobody died today. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Me flying through the air somehow caused one of the raptors to die, probably from laughing. But luckily I now had the hide that I needed and I was ready to make my way back. Immediately after arriving, I went to construct all the leather that I could, unlocking me the blueprints to make leather armor, as well as unlocking metal ore. So I made myself a chest piece and some boots, and then went to grab some more water so I could finish up the remaining pieces of the armor set. So I finished up the leather, constructed my pants as well as the helmet, and then went out to the mountains in search for some metal ore. Tracking down a bunch of rocks, I decided to fill my newly made pockets, and then after grabbing all that I could, I made my way back home, only to realize that I required even more leather to make the smelter. So back on the canoe I went as I was now out of salt. Traveling back to where the river meets the ocean and then hopping out to farm up all the salt that I would possibly need. I didn't want to make another trip back so I grabbed all that my weight would allow me to carry and then started making my way back home to finish up the smelter. Once arriving redocking my canoe and then started working on all the remaining.
remaining leather pieces, making more than enough to finish up this mountain. I was super excited. This thing looked awesome. It took me a bit of time to figure out how this thing worked as I initially had no idea what a bellow was. Using my big brain, I was able to figure it out. I promise I didn't use Google. And in no time, I was smelting down all the iron I would need. I then constructed myself an anvil to make some metal tools and then went back to smelting down all the remaining ingots required to make a metal pick. While I was at it, after finishing up the pick, I also decided to make the axe and then saw that there was another time traveling piece that I could also construct, allowing me to travel to Egypt. Can I just firstly say, I freaking hate the desert. Oh, 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 what is that? <laughs> Immediately met with adversaries, I was forced to run for my life, spotting a little oasis off in the distance and running to quickly chop down some trees to construct myself a little sandboat. Come on, quickie. Oh, hi, friend. With barely a moment to spare, I was able to finish it and then define all laws of gravity as I started doing some sand surfing. Did I see that right? How many of you are there? With my enemies closing in and adrenaline rushing through my veins, I made my way across the desert towards the red bin as quick as I possibly could. Oh boy, really? Really have you? Okay, okay. Here's my chance. A brief window and opportunity and even after clipping a rock, I was able to safely make my way to the portal and jump inside. Arriving at some more Egyptian temples and luckily no sandworms in sight, I made my way inside to start exploring around. Spotting a relic off in the distance and after grabbing it and open up another portal, rifting me to another era. Okay, where the hell am I now? What is this place? What is this? Turns out I was in some form of a coliseum and it didn't take me long to see that I wasn't alone here. Oh, um, howdy gentlemen. Are you friendly? To answer my question, they weren't, and I was now facing another challenge as I continued to navigate through the eras of time to assert my dominance and reach the top of the food chain. And these guys weren't fighting fair at all. In fact, they were taking me on in groups of four. But they had no idea who they were messing with as I was able to take down the first group. Not even breaking a sweat. <laughs> Off to face the final ones. This time, there were five of them, and they were really hitting hard. I definitely had to be a lot more cautious in my fight, leaping away way after my hits to not give them time to recover health, I focused one at a time. And after another victorious fight, another rift appeared as I jumped inside not knowing where I would head off next. What the hell is this China? Where am I? Um, hello? Is there anybody here? Hello? Oh, I might grab my mama something nice here. Hello? I want to purchase something. Anybody? And I wish I had rather kept my mouth shut as I was now face to face with another warrior. Oh, you were alone? I ain't afraid. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, you hit hard. Oh, I'm in trouble, I'm in trouble. <laughs> this guy is a lot tougher than I thought. As I retreated back to quickly force feed myself some berries to give myself some time to recover and then deciding to use the terrain to my advantage. Oh, <laughs> oh ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of me. Oh, what the hell? I survived. Oh. On barely a slither of health, I ate some more berries and after recovering, I was forced to re-engage. This was probably a fight I was not gonna win, but I wasn't gonna give up that easy. I was beginning to believe as I was able to land some shots and jump away. Even though sometimes I failed, I was starting to really drain this guy's health. Running away in between attacks to force myself some recovery time and then finally I started mastering the skill of jumping backwards. Oh wait, that's really easy. <laughs> Seeing how low his health was, I decided to rush in and give it everything that I had. But I underestimated just how tough this guy was and we were now both one hit away as I perfectly timed my final attack. Slaying him and earning myself the final relic, teleporting back in time to start working on the next teleportation device. I had successfully conquered the primitive era and as I started constructing the next teleportation device that would allow me to travel to the colonial times. This is unfortunately where we have to say goodbye. But that's only because this is the demo version so if you want to see the full video and you enjoyed this let me know down in the comments below. A huge thank you to all my members and Patreon. Special shout out to Adam and Zach and I hope to see you again soon. And here are some more videos you might enjoy. Okay goodbye.